All right, now that we've got our marks on our test pieces, let's get ready and set up our cuts. The first cut I want to set up is on our style piece, the horizontal piece. Well, it's a piece on your the style and the rail. So let's start off with the style, and this cuts in the horizontal mode. And we're using our bar here as a support for our style. I'll raise it up, kind of give it a little general tightening there. I get our fine adjusting tool here, and tap it into place, making sure that the edge of our style is flush with the top of our jig. Get the good there. Very good there. A little bit. There we go. Test that again. Yeah. yeah. Now that we've got our style piece flush with our top of our jig, now we need to center our sled on our mark. So basically, what I want to do here is tighten up on the built in clamp, get our router. Set the, the guide in there, set it all in place. I'm going to slide it back in on the leading edge here. I'm going to, I've got our mark, I'm going to establish the center of our mortise there, tighten up here. Slide out and get to the trailing edge. Let's see here, set the trailing edge up. Tighten it down, and then double check our leading edge, make sure it it's right in the center. All right. Now we can test that fit using our centering bit on our router. And this is just needs to be hand tightened, it doesn't need to be tightened with the wrench. Drop it down on the boards. See if it's center. Looks good. And now we're ready to make another step in our setup here. Put our bit in. Let's look at the bit real quick. This is a plunge bit. So the difference between this bit and a straight bit is that a plunge bit will have a small amount of carbide in the center. It takes that center out of the mortise. Makes it a little bit like a drill bit. A straight bit won't have that. You may have to do an alternate. I call it a sweeping cut. When you're pushing down and pushing forward at the same time, it kind of sweeps the bit so you don't have that binding right there in the center. If it's, if it's not cutting, it's not going to plunge. Got the bit in there. And now with the bit in place, we want to recenter our piece where it's going to be cut. So I'm lining it, the center piece, the center mark, I'm sorry, the center mark of our mortise with the center mark on our jig. Tighten it down again. Line up our carbide along that center mark and make it on the trailing edge of that mark. That's in place. Get our stop. Slide our stop into place. Set up the leading edge a bit right there against the mark. Okay. If you will notice too that anytime I'm setting this jig up, I've got the power off. The power is not on the, the router. Okay. Check 
that again. All right, now let's set the depth of our mortise. Set the bit against the your workpiece. And we'll make a three-quarter inch depth on our mortise. So I have a half inch and a quarter inch brass bar. Drop it down. Find it. Okay. Tighten everything up. And now I want to set the this piece in the back to keep the, the router from tipping out. Test our cut. Oh yes, nice and smooth. It's not going to tip out. Tighten it down. Okay. Now that I'm ready to make my cut, I can get rid of items that are on the workbench like a hammer. And we're ready to make that test cut. Let me put my dust mask in place here. Okay. I'm gonna put my hearing protection on, and I do have my safety glasses on, and I have red. Followed all the instructions. With the router here, I'm sure you've heard that many a million times, but can't hear it too much. Now we're ready for power. Check the router to make sure it's off. We want it to go skating across the shop. Let's raise it up too. Okay, great. Got the power on. Let's make the test cut. Let's test the cut with our tenon. Oh yes, there's a nice slip fit to it. With a little glue now, that will be nice. There's the cut on the style. Now we're ready to set up our rail test here. And we change now the, the support bar turns into a clamping bar. It'll take long to change it over. I want to adjust this out of the way. We don't want to use this clamp. Let's get in the way. Take our test piece and. Let's mark the back here. Mark the back on our test piece also. Alright, again the face of the of our piece goes against the 